Hey, John Morris here with HowToMakeMyWebsite.com and in this video we're going to create a basic form that will allow you to add data to a MySQL or MySQL database using PHP. So uh, the first thing that I want to cover right away just kind of to get it out of the way is the actual form itself because um, I'm sure there will be some people who kind of get hung up on this part of it but it's actually incredibly simple. Um, when you're using PHP with a form, the, the form itself doesn't necessarily actually have any PHP in it, it and it doesn't have to. Um, majority of the time it'll actually just be a, a regular old HTML form. Okay, So uh, in case you don't know, the way that works is uh, you start it off just like if you've been through the Web Design 101 course and we've talked about HTML tags and you're going to have an HTML tag called form and then inside that form you're just going to define some attributes so um, the two that you you need to have are uh, the form action and what that action is is that's the page that this form is going or the browser is going to send all the data that is entered in this form it's the page that it's going to send that data to and so what this page actually is going to be is going to be your PHP it's going to be the the page of your PHP script that's going to process that information. So that it's going to be the page that we spend most of our time on. Um, then there's going to be the method. So there's two methods: post and get. Um, you know, if you want to look that up, the difference between the two, that's fine. Um, for the most part, you're probably going to be sticking with post. Uh, it's generally the recommended method. So. Um, nine times out of ten or ninety nine times out of hundred this is going to be post but if you want to look that up go ahead and go for it um, and then of course you can see down here we have our closing form tags and then inside there what we have is our actual input so uh, you can see we have a paragraph tag and we just uh, type out input one and this is just going to be kind of the label for this input which is going to be a text box and then um, there's a number of different uh, form elements. You can do an input, which is just a regular text box. Um, you can do a text area. You can do a drop-down box. You can do radio buttons and so on. So, um, again, they're they're all a little bit different syntax. Uh, and we'll get into that a little bit. But you can also, again, that's something that you know you probably already know, or you can look up pretty easily. Uh, there's nothing special about it. So. Um, here we have an input, uh, just a regular text box. It's a text box and not a password box. The important thing here is the name. Okay, so when we use PHP to process data, we need our inputs to have a name so that we can, uh, when we store it in the database, we can store it under a key and then we can reference the data that was stored, the data that was input in that uh, text box using the key. And that'll make sense, a lot more sense as we go forward. but really the important thing here is to make sure that the, all your inputs have names uh, that way they can be stored in the database and then of course we close it and then we close our paragraph tag and then we have another input which is just our submit button um, that's pretty much what every submit button you'll ever make looks like granted you can make image ones and do some fancy stuff like that but we're not going to really talk about that in this uh, in this course so um, that is a very simple yet effective form and if we go you can see that this is what that looks like and so we would insert our data in here uh, and then we'd hit submit and they would send that uh, data off to this demo.php page which is going to be our script uh, that we write that's going to process that information so that's the HTML form um, again you can pretty much construct these however you want you just will have to write your code to accommodate um, how you build your form here so your your how you build your HTML form is going to determine uh, a lot with how you uh, code this this processing page the page that processes and inputs the data and of course you have to structure your database according to that as well that's all going to make sense here in just a minute okay so now um, this is our form and this is the data that we have or that we're gonna uh, we're gonna take in now we need some place to store it so instead of diving right into the PHP we're actually gonna come to uh, our database here 
and we're going to go again into our database and I'm just going to create a new table so if we come back here we can create a new table we're going to call this demo and the number of fields we're going to give it two okay we're going to hit go alright so again we're creating uh, we already have a database we're just creating a table which is like a sheet and then we gave it two fields which are like the columns going across so we're just going to specify what those are so again this is we're going to this is where we're going to store our information so uh, as you can see here we have two fields the first one is just going to be one that's called an ID you pretty much are always going to do this field um, and what that is is it, it gives the the numbers uh, for each row as it numbers down so you can reference it that way so um, you're pretty much always going to do this it's going to be an integer um, attributes index is primary it's going to be your primary key you're going to auto increment um, and that's pretty much it for that one now this is pretty much always going to be like this because again that's your ID field that's how you uh, number your records it's it's actually if we come to our spreadsheet over here we'll open this back up real quick this ID field right here is like these numbers right here okay my my SQL by default doesn't have those in there so you just create a field and you make the primary key auto increment and that a lot that pretty much creates these numbers right here so that you can reference it now this name right here is like these columns going across so we have our ID column now we're gonna have another column and this is this is where you're gonna kinda start to structure your database and your form are gonna work hand in hand if you remember we had I said that you needed your inputs needed to have a name that's because those this name right here is going to correlate uh, over here to this field so that when you submit the form then the data that's in this input box which is this input box is going to get stored in this field okay so what how, do, how are we going to do that well the, the name of this it doesn't have to be but it's a good practice this the name of this field is the same as the form so input one and if we come back to our code over here we can see the name is input one okay so they correlate to each other and all right so let's go back over to our database um, it's not going to be an integer it's probably going to be it can be a variable character or we'll just yeah we'll just do that um, and it can be null and yeah we'll just leave it at that we could put a limit on the text here but we won't just for these purposes um, that's something when we get to security we'll talk about